Hello, my name is Justin Snook and I will be presenting information about Web 2.0 as well as Web 2.0 tools that can be used in the classroom. Web 1.0 is basically defined as being the internet when everything was read-only HTMLs. You would click on a site and it would take you where you wanted to go. The internet was directory based and made for home pages and companies. Web 2.0 is more collaborative, meaning with read and write material created by users. Web 2.0 information is not just given to you, the co consumer, you are also contributing a lot of information through blogs and YouTube. This slide represents tools in Web 1.0 era and current Web 2.0 tools. The slide represents, this slide represents what 2.0 tools can do in, in and out of the classroom. All the functions listed in this slide enhance education. Web 2.0 tools create discussion forums which gives the basic abilities for students to be able to talk and give opinion on topics taught. Creativity is endless allowing students to have student-based projects using the Web 2.0 tools which unleashes creativity within the classroom and individual. Web 2.0 tools allow students to stream podcasts, videos, virtual conferences while the student is sitting at his desk or at home, allowing participation time to be at any time of the day, not just 7.30 to 3. Web 2.0 tools also allows collaboration scenarios such as colleagues, students, students to teachers, teachers to parents, and beyond the school building collaboration, which includes educators and classrooms in different nations. Web 2.0 2.0 tools allows for critical thinking in and out of the classroom, whether it be project-based, filtering web-based material, or applying information learned through the Web 2.0 tools. Students also benefit from Web 2.0 tools by learning things individually, discovering different techniques and skills through the schools using technology. Web 2.0 tools have benefited the classroom in so many different ways. Implementing the tools appropriately is the key for a student gain. The next few slides are actual Web 2.0 tools that will be described in terms of use in the classroom. Edmodo is a free, secure social learning platform for teachers, students, schools, and districts. Edmodo provides teachers and students with a secure and easy way to post classroom materials, shares links, videos, and access homework, grades, and school notices. Teachers and students can store and share all forms of digital content, blogs, links, pictures, documents, presentations, and more. It's very similar to Facebook, which makes it easy for students to learn. Prezi is a new presentation program. It uses a single canvas instead of multiple slides for presentation. A Prezi allows connected material to make up the presentation and users zoom in and out of the presentation material. Prezi is most commonly used in conferences, conferences, education, data presentations, and visualizing information online. Educators specifically use Prezi to facilitate different learning styles with presenting information visually and creatively. Museum Box allows students to build up an argument or description of an event, person, or historical period by placing items in a virtual box. Students can display anything from a text file to a movie. They can also view the museum boxes submitted by other people and comment on the contents. If you're not sure how you could use the box, the website has hundreds of projects that have already been completed by students to help you with some ideas. Scrumbler and Wordle are two Web 2.0 tools that are much more commonplace and easy to access in the classroom. Wordle is a tool for creating word art, such as clouds. You can change your art with different fonts, layouts, and color schemes. It can be used to represent key vocabulary, characteristics, or to group similar information. Scrumbler is a very simple site that allows people at different computers to organize, create sticky notes, and collaborate on ideas. It is an anonymous contribution, but creating a page's URL makes it permanent to work on at any place and any time. This concludes my information for Web 2.0 and their tools. There is an abundance of tools that teachers can use. I touch base on several that are user friendly and free. My reference, my images, and my websites follow.